Hello and welcome, Paula here. And this is Judgment, Apocalypse Survival Simulation. Now, I've been trying this on and off, and I've come to the conclusion that normal difficulty is bloody hard. Now, I know they say this is the way the game was meant to be played, but goddamn it is tough. I seem to have the recur- I've attempted it several times and I seem to have the recurring pattern. I'll build a base, I'll get all my needs roughly settled, I'll be researching as much as I can and building as much as I can, but before I can really get anything built, oh, and this is rescuing every single person I can, I'm attacked and my guys are low health and before they're fully healed up I'm attacked again until I'm basically worn down or overwhelmed by enemies. So yeah, it's extremely difficult. So what I'm going to do is do a playthrough and I'm going to go on the beginner difficulty which reduces the survivors needs, survivors work faster and weaker enemies. Uh, this is casual beginner. I'll tell you what. We'll do custom difficulty. Rather than doing beginner, I'm going to make my needs on normal mode so I eat and drink and rest the same amount and work speed the same amount. The only difference is that the enemy enemies should be a little bit easier. Okay, that might make it a bit more manageable. Let's try. So rather than going full on beginner, we'll try and keep it balanced somewhat. Alright, so... First things first, when you load in, look around. I loaded into a map which had no clay, and that screwed me over and I had to restart. Now we've got plenty of trees, the well's in a good position, stone, scrap, okay, I think we're good. Now let's look at who we got. We got Deborah, vegan, not very good in combat, but good farmer. We got Tom, handy, hoarder, weirdo, so he could be my occult guy, but he's also pretty good at gathering and that. And then we've got... Glenn, who's actually... He's actually pretty good for combat, but he's also weak. Which is an odd combination. So... But still, that's better than nothing. Anyway, let's get started. First thing we're going to do is build our log cabin. I always go for the big one because I feel I can get the best usage out of it. I'm just going to place it... Place it there, should give me room. Okay. Now let's take another look. Deborah, she may as well be my farmer. So she'll be the farmer. Glenn, who's also got a good farming skill. I want to move that down. Put it all the way down there because I'm not going to need him to do that. And Tom, he's a good gatherer. Oh, his weirdo brings crafting down, so it basically stays at zero, which is quite weird. He'll be my occult guy, but I'm also going to need water, so there we go. So we're going to have him start fetching water. Okay, get our bed in there. I tend to use the same layout every time, it just works. And a workbench. It's not going to hurt getting that built now. We'll speed up time. Let's get all this built. Probably not, it's not, definitely not going to hurt getting some trees cut. We need that research, if someone can handle that. Okay, so we can now build our vegetable farm. I've started spreading these out, so I actually have room for my people to move around. I want to build a second one as soon as I can, so we're going to need wood and stone. In fact, rather than mining those, let's mine these and actually get them out of the way, so I've got more room to go that way. So 
this is where I worry. We've got Tom, who's not mining. He's always fetching water. I'm going to have to balance that out a little bit. I've got plenty of water at the moment, so... One thing I need to remember as well is to craft food. You stop crafting food for a moment and that's it. So I'll make the arrows because I can go ahead and make bows as well. I'm not entirely sure how useful bows are because even though you get a couple of hits in before the enemy attacks, at the end of the day, you only get one shot in before the enemy's on you. So, not really entirely sure how useful that is, but still. Alright, can stop making our first salads. And we can also craft scraps. I don't think we can ever run out of scraps, I'm not entirely sure. There's an inventory anywhere. Yeah, I don't quite know how that works. Anyway, so far so good. We want to build the second farm, we need some wood. Always going to be keeping a lookout for survivors. What do we have nearby? Okay, Two bits and pieces. Oh, one more wood. There we go. Build up there. That should help us with our food situation. got our clubs. We're going to need to scavenge a nearby location. I'm hoping soon we'll get our first assistant mission. There we go. So he's over there. We're going to send help. i send Glenn and Tom. Give Glenn the club. I'll give both of them clubs. Alright, let's find them. Speed up time here, there they are. I think I might need to get a training room up ASAP just so I can handle combat a little bit better. But there's like a whole bunch of other things that I desperately need prior to that. Alright, so we just got Leanne. She's a good gatherer. She's, that's it, good gatherer. Now, I appreciate her fetching water, but we're going to need that down there. Okay. Research, we're going to need that sawmill up as soon as we can. Could also do with the wheat farm. That's going to have to wait for now. Can't get the sawmill up just yet. Speed up time a little bit more. I think I need to scavenge a nearby location, so let's just have a quick look. As much as I need scraps, wool is used for... Uh, I believe it's used for setting up a first aid tent which could be incredibly useful, so maybe we'll go and go there and see if we can get the wool. Since we can have three of them now, minimize the casualty risk. Or better, yeah, I could send two. There we go. That will use up less food as well. So there's hostile creatures nearby. That's fine. Let's go. We'll whack up the speed a little bit as well. Alright, let's take out the DM first. He dies pretty easily. Have Glenn flank the imp. Let Leanne take a bit of damage. She has got extra health though. There we go. She only just went down to what? 
Glenn has, so that's not too bad. Let's bring them back to base. Okay. So they're back in base. Can't craft any of those. We can now build the magic circle. We're going to need clay. I guess I could start researching that, although it isn't particularly useful. But let's go ahead and have that going anyway. Let's get those trees there since they're close by and then I also want these trees. We're going to have to stop building a forest again soon, but let's just get that done. We've got our second building, going to put it there so there's a bit of a gap between. In this building we're going to have our stove and... No one's researching, that's kind of bad. Food's going down, water's going down. Scraps, we need scraps. So we could search a location. I could go out and scavenge again. More wool from there and start collecting those now. Oh, see both are the same. Uh, you know what, sure. Although I feel that like if I go do this, we may get attacked shortly after. But just for the sake of this one, we're gonna take three people. Let's go. They're all roughly healed up. Leanne's still a bit hurt, but she's got extra health. So that's not too bad. Oh, these are only imps. Okay, this should be very easy then. Okay, it's gonna move her back. Let them get close. There we go. Bam. Glenn's currently the target, but if I run this way, they both turn their back on Leanne and Tom. There we go, good flanking action there. Alright, we've got scraps. So I'm going to build that sawmill. Okay, rescue mission. We definitely need to do this because we need more people. Same squad. That's fine. Let's go. Now let's see if we can find these demons. There's one and two limbs. Let's come around here, give my guys a bit of cover. Since Leanne isn't under attack, have her flank. Alright, so Glenn is actually really hurt. I'm going to move him out of the way if possible. There we go. Yeah, I let Glenn get too hurt more than I had planned. But we just got someone else, that's always good. But Steve. Steve is alien abductee and a vegan. Alright, again, I need some brutes, some good people for combat. That's what I'm after. Trees are cut down. Let's get those crafting and Tom. Tom, 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 Tom. Priorities. Fetch water, I just want to knock that up on you mate, sorry about that. Wait, did I say that? I wanted him to... There you 
Maybe this guy can be my... Steve can be my scientific researcher. There we go, I've got it, Steve. Perfect. So what we want to do is get that wheat farm up. Soon. Soon. Ten more. Food is running out. So these mean hours, by the way. I always thought it meant something else. Alright, let's research now. Cooking. Bam. So I want to build a wheat... Alright, we've got enemies coming, but I want to build a wheat farm. I'm going to build that. See, I guess if I build that there, they can access it from all areas. If I was to build it there, it makes little difference. It just means they have to go around the outside. But I could have a block of four vegetable. Is there any point of making weaker... I don't know. I'll tell you what, build it here. And then I'm gonna have more vegetable farms in this area and then all wheat here. That seems like a plan. Anyway, combat, two arms. I think I need a weapon actually, damn. Got no wood. One person's gonna be unarmed. Let's have a look, who's injured? Let's go lads and ladies. I try not to move them too far away to go after the enemy because after the battle's done, time resumes because it's currently frozen and it means they waste time traveling to wherever they need to be. Well, it's not much, you know, every little bit helps. Leanne, she's got plenty of health, so she's basically tanking that up. That's good. All right, let's get that weed, weed farm built. Sorted. So now we're going to need a stove. Stove is going to require scraps, so we'll get those scraps built. We're also going to want to cut down more trees, so I'm going to deforest this area. Well, when it looks like all the trees are almost gone on the map, I'm going to start building a forest just here. I should probably make someone my dedicated crafter. Or builder, actually. Who, who's good for building? No one. No. Building gets a little bit ridiculous. Maybe it could be Steve. But like he's the researcher, but if we say build, I mean he's not weak or anything, he's just... Yeah, wait, what's his energy at? Minus 20, that's not good. Never mind. He needs a lot of energy because when you build trees, there's a lot of trees. So what about... Leanne. So she got extra energy. She's plus one to gathering. Alright, she could be a builder as well. So I put that there. Because after those trees are gone, I wanted to build something for me. We still need that stove. Craft that food. How's research going? We've got a bit of research going still. Good, good, good. Training area would definitely be useful soon. I'm gonna need more scraps. Probably easier for me to go out and get some, or do I need to craft them? I can build wells as well, but I always feel I've always got enough water unless water runs out from a well. Anyway, stove, scraps, okay. 
There we go. Now we're being attacked. I guess we're ready as we'll be. So far this has been a bit more manageable. Normally by now, day four, <laughs> everyone would be about half health and uh, yeah. But the weaker enemies are certainly helping. Glenn doesn't have the health to take this. Leanne needs to get up there. There we go. Back to normal folks, back to normal. Anyway. I'm going to keep marching on with this and see if we can get a decent base built up. Because there's a lot more to this game that I want to show you, like hell, hell gates and stuff, but I just haven't made it that far. Anyway, thank you for watching, hope you've enjoyed this, and if you've got any questions, feel free to ask. Until next time.